All right, welcome everybody. Uh, we got some pretty exciting stuff going on today. Uh, let me just talk about this art real quick. Uh, this is a lovely piece off of Twitter. Uh, the Buru is down lately. When I try to access the Grapefruit Art Buru, it says your connection is not private. Attackers might be trying to steal your information from grapefruit.buru.org, etc., uh, etc. Et it says net error cert date invalid. And I think the Buru has gone down before. Uh, I, I think in a similar manner to this. So uh, I think we just need to wait and they will fix it. But there's a possibility the Buru may have gone down for good, which would kind of suck. Uh, but this is some art off of Twitter. This is art by uh, Gavriel12, uh, who did a fantastic job. It's a very textured piece. It's very beautiful. Please take care of him. Somebody in the chat said, I will not freeloader. <laughs> uh, so it's beautiful art. Thank you, Gavriel12. Always appreciate it. Um, let's get to... Uh, let's get to what we're all here for, okay? New developments in technology have been made, and we now have the live shoe reaction. And I'm gonna play some Isaac, and I think I'm just gonna leave this up in the corner the whole time. Now, he sleeps during the day. So a lot of this is just gonna be footage of him having his cute little sleep. Uh, and I'm gonna try not to disturb him or bother him too much. Sometimes he gets up and roams around, or he has a little yawn, and sometimes, hopefully he will poke his little head through that little window. He, he does that pretty frequently. Uh, so... We will have that on while I'm playing Binding of Isaac. Maybe I might need to make it a little bit uh, smaller, but we'll see. Uh, and I'm just going to play some Isaac for fun. Partially for research for a video, too. Tee -hee. Uh, all right. Let's get the game open. I don't actually have it open this time for once. And I could also crop the window to make it a little more shoe-centric, I suppose. Oh. Yeah. A little, little bit of action. A little bit of action there. Okay. Game will appear momentarily. There we go. All right. Isaac. I think that's... It, it's, it's a bit big, but especially with the thing that says live shoe reaction, but I cannot bring myself to get rid of it. <clears throat> uh, Alright. <laughs> oh, this is good. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna do a Tainted Isaac run, because I'm working on a guide, a little scripted guide for Tainted Isaac, and I just sort of want to... Uh, play the character and make sure I'm not, like, forgetting anything, basically. So, uh, we'll get right on that. He's cleaning himself. He loves to clean. Okay. Oh, I've still got the stupid bonk mod on. My god, and I'm gonna be able to fast travel. I've been playing on Isabel's Switch so much lately. I'm so not used to- oh. I'll take Guppy's tail, I guess. The guppy count, and that's something that'll get us lots of benefit, although it might also, uh... Getting that as your first item can often starve you of keys. Uh, is, is the game maybe could be a little louder? Ow. Yeah, already. Already we've got one, uh, golden chest. Let's turn it up a little bit. He stretched. He did stretch. He's on the move. If he goes, uh, sometimes, you know, during his sleep cycle, he will, uh... He'll, like, get up and go downstairs and get a little drink and a little bite to eat, and it's very cute, and I'll, I'll follow with that. So I had to, like, rig up this camera, by the way. He normally has some, uh, steps, little steppies in his, uh, cage, and I basically just made it so one of them is facing out of the cage rather than in the cage and I just put my little webcam on there and I've sort of wheeled his cage to be a little closer to my computer so it comfortably reaches it could reach before but it was just kind of a stretch and I didn't want a situation where I like accidentally tug the cable and then it just comes crashing down so 
He's gonna be my little streaming buddy. I thought I might- Oh, I thought I might as well do this at least once. These are both fantastic items. Uh, I'm inclined to take Polyphemus. But Dumpy is legitimately a great item too. 15 damage first floor, by the way. Okay. So I also just kind of wanted to uh, relax with some nice Isaac. I thought about playing Mosalina, but I was like, eh. The dev is apparently working hard on Mosalina stuff. Uh, so maybe we'll get an update in the coming weeks and then uh and then i'll be a little more inclined to stream it there's also somebody made a mod uh that makes the like character's gun into a little gray fruit which is very cute and i'll probably play with that and i might even mod the game myself because you can apparently just swap out audio files and uh sprite sheets and such uh we don't need damage and this is a great item. Oh, look. Oh my god. He poked his little head out the little window. Look, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> He's very groggy. All the time. Not all the time, but you know, during the day. Nobody cares about the game that I'm playing right now. It's all about Shu. His shop is open. <laughs> Bella is asking how I set the camera up. Uh, I took one of the steps, one of the little steps from the side of his cage, and I put it on the outside of the cage. Just temporarily, and the webcam is resting on that. Uh... Okay. Oh my god. I have the chance to do the funniest thing of all time. Shu, I'm gonna need a great reaction from you, buddy. Oh, oh, is he doing a little stretch? Oh, he's... Oh! Oh, I'm kind of sorry you guys missed his little arms stretched out. He did a little stretchy. Hold on. There he is. <laughs> he's reconsidering his life choices after seeing the lame joke that I made. There was a big stretch and you guys kind of missed it. I'm sorry. I can only do... Oh, wait. He's, he's going around. Oh, see, he's gonna go get a little drink. He's gonna go get a little drink, I'm sure of it. He's going downstairs and he's gonna get a little bite to eat and he's gonna get a little drink of water. This is his classic move. Pretty dark in there, isn't it? <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hello. Yes, hello, you're the star of the stream. Now, you are just kind of sitting there. Maybe I'm putting the pressure on him. Well, you know what? I, I, I don't know. Where do I put the camera now? Hold on. I'll wheel the chair. There's a chair here. I'll wheel the chair around, and I'll put, I'll put the camera on, like, the arm of the chair. And you guys can monitor his shoevement. Okay. This is the most fucked stream setup of all time. <laughs> okay. This is the best I can do. He's just choosing to sh sit there on that one shelf. I got I got to play the game and keep an eye on shoot at the same time. Little shit. I cleaned his cage so nice yesterday, and then, you know what he did? You know what this little rascal did? He pooped all over it. He pooped all up in the cage. Why did you poop all over the nice cage when I cleaned it for you so nicely, so kindly? Come on, buddy. <laughs> he's, uh, I'm shocked that he's not getting water. That's normally what he does when he comes down during the, uh, middle of the day. Oh, a little scritch, a little scritch. And up he goes. Hold on. <laughs> oh, and down he goes again. God damn it. Shoo, you're killing me here. 
A camera guy can only do so much. The scissors suck. The scissors suck so much. So, I'm just gonna take the dog tooth. It's- it's another- That's one, you know, as Tainted Isaac, you kinda have these, like, investment items. Oh. Okay, now he's probably gonna get a little bite to eat, right? Right, buddy? There's your food bowl. He's not going for it. Okay, I have full question mark, I'll just drop it on the ground. Ow. That kind of sucked. Alright, Judgment, that's fine. Options is cool. He went into his little house, he never does that. Oh, buddy. He's so cute. You are so cute. You are so stinking cute. You gonna go hop on his water bottle? He likes to do that sometimes. A little scritch. Uh... <laughs> Dude, you're moving too fast for me to keep up. Okay, oh, is he going back to his little house? Burger. You want the burger? You want to eat the burger? No, he wants to eat his porch. Okay. We're gonna try... I think he's settled down. For now. Alright, 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 alright. <sighs> We're not getting hushed this run, I can already tell. <laughs> Mr. Me, that's not bad. I might pick up Mr. Me. And then try to steal this. Will it still be rotating if he does steal it? I guess we'll never know. I need a multi-cam FNAF setup. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and then we can get Shu jump scared. Three coins. From one guy. Okay. Polyphemus is uh, pretty good carry on the early floors. Those keys are super nice. We want to see those. What's Mr. Me? It, uh, it's a very, like, multi-use item. It's supposed to be based on Mr. Me Seeks from uh, Rick and Morty. And it's just a little ghost, and you direct it at things. Is this super secret or normal secret? Hold on. My money's on super secret, so it would be up. Uh, but basically, you can blow things up with him, you can steal items from shops and the devil, you can unlock doors, including the boss challenge door and shit. It's quite good. Very multi-tool type beat. I think it's probably to the right here. No? Is it... I'm sorry, the secret room is here? No. What? What the fuck? That giant L room is the only room where it howls, so what the fuck? Am I tripping here? Uh... Because here it goes awoo. But if, if the secret room was up here, it would also go awoo when I go into here. You think I missed the middle? I might have. No, it is there. It is there. I did miss. Okay. Uh... Look at him. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. Let's try to, like, really carefully. Hold on, hold on. He's perfect. He's perfect. Okay. 
Uh, I think I'll just hang on to Mr. Me and try to steal something from Satan. Fuck it. You can also sick Mr. Me on enemies, which is cool. Okay. Uh... We don't need damage. <laughs> Excuse me. Disgusting snort from the disgusting human. Might try to steal... Eye of Belial, I guess. I know we got two guppy pieces here, but... I'm not really feeling doing that, frankly. <laughs> uh, I wonder how it'll work. Okay, it just didn't even work, and I'm not even going to do this. Okay. Uh, I think I'll just go... I guess I should keep the fool question mark card. And maybe I should go in the... Oh, right. Fast travel. Holy shit. I forgot about fast travel. Okay. I'll keep the reversed fool. We don't even need to pop that judgment card. Oh my god, I have the luxury of fast travel. This is so hot. Ah! Uh, that has convinced me. Oh my god. Okay. Ah, uh, neither of these are great. I guess I'll take the bone. I don't know. Eh, we take this and leave. Are there any other hearts? That's so good. Alright. I'm just gonna go for, like, Mega Satan or something, I don't know. Okay. Uh... Hmm... It was a risk, and it didn't really pay off, frankly. At least we got some more protection for the theoretical devil or angel room that will maybe appear at the end of this. Bone Spurs is actually, like, pretty decent. It's a lot like that one that makes enemies explode into tears. It's kind of the opposite, because it's like... Oh, a key, nice. It's like if an enemy explodes into tears upon death, then... You can, uh... The bones will soak it up. Speed down, fuck you. It's not too bad, but it's kinda shitty. Alright. Give Polyphemus to shoe. Ow. <laughs> that was funny. That one guy died just in time to get hit by the black heart. For, the, for his little creeps that he spawns to get hit by the black heart. Okay, I'm kind of hoping for a boss challenge room on this floor so we can use Mr. Me on it, but if we don't see one, that's not the end of the world. Nice. He got boned. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Mr. Me can also retrieve things from across gaps for you, which is cool. I'm starting to be a little doubtful about that, uh... <laughs> that angel room or devil room. Pencil. 
Yeah, that's every 15 shots, which is actually not amazing. Uh, this is a tough choice. Because the thing is, I know some people might be judging my item choices here, but you gotta remember, oh, big stretch. Oh, big stretch. Uh, I can only keep a certain number of items, and I, I really think the lead pencil is probably not going to be that great. One second. Okay, sorry, I had to snort. I'm thinking about taking the fucking sticky bombs, because that's going to be more of a permanent benefit, just having some bombs. Oh, look, he's sleepy. He's sleepy. You can tell. It's like you can see the different stages. I don't know if Chinchilla experienced, like, REM sleep the way us humans do. But, uh, you can tell it's like there's kind of a I'm asleep, but I'm still alert kind of, like, mode that he can get in. And then there's I'm asleep, and I'm totally conked out and <laughs> at peace. That's kind of, he seems conked out now. When he, like, flops on his side, that's when it seems like he's most comfortable. Although it's always hard to tell. I try not to, uh, assume the emotions of my little furry friend. Uh... Wish there was a soul heart here for me to buy, because I just lost my last thing. Let's go, uh... Get that other, that half-red, half-soul heart thing. Bone Spurs. I can imagine uh, Sandy from Spongebob saying that. Bone Spurs. Let's just get all this. Oh my god. That sure is interesting. <laughs> it's one of these, the speed down. No, shot speed up, speed up, range down. That's fine, my range is a little shitty. Judgment question mark is reroll machine, right? That's kind of cool. Uh, <clears throat> hold on, let's get this out of the. I always hate when cards get stuck or when things you can pick up get stuck in front of a door like that. Okay. And this is just lovers. Taking it nice and slow. This is meant to be a nice, relaxing Isaac run. I've basically been dead godding the game again, by the way, on uh, Isabel's save file. Not like all the way there by any means, not even really that close, but we've got several characters fully completed at this point, which is kind of cool. Uh, hold on, this is gonna be the card room. All the cards go in there. Maybe when I didn't have soul heart protection I should have gone in the curse, but whatever. Too late now. Nice. See, Bone Spurs makes quick work of these lads. Normally their only threat is that they explode into tears when they die, but... Here it don't matter. Okay, we got the secret room. I could have been using Mr. Me for a lot of these, like, bomb actions, but I figure I've got the luxury of having quite a few bombs at this point. And I'll hang on to that judgment question mark, because that's kind of huge. I've not tried the online beta out yet. Uh, I think Lark and I are going to wait until it's a little more uh, completed. A little less in beta or alpha or whatever. And then maybe we'll check it out. Who knows? How's Shu doing, guys? Are you keeping... I hope you're keeping an eye on him. He could get into trouble. If not supervised. He's quite the troublemaker.
Alright, we should get... Actually, why are our angel and devil chances so low? Is this not... Oh, I guess it's because I went into the devil room, I guess? Alright, we're getting the fucking match book. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and bomb this too, because we got a disproportionate amount of keys and bombs. Okay. Now we have the issue of all this bullshit. You know, I could uh, use fool question mark to just drop all of my uh, shit. Is this a special? No. Oof. Oh, and I could re-roll the ten bombs. I always forget that that's a possibility. Uh, okay, so let's just pick up the red hearts, blah blah blah. Alright, the matchstick removes the tick. Uh, okay. It was perhaps a bit of a waste of the fool question mark, but I, I think I'm probably not gonna get... I wasn't gonna bring it to the next floor anyway. Health down. Range up. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. That was just kind of a, a slightly rough experimental pill, basically. Look at him eeping. Look at how eepy he is. So eepy. Uh, alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna bonk myself on this a few times too. Alright. Now yeah, we're gonna go scrounge up all this health, including the lover's card. He is fucking conked out. He's honk shoe maxing. That's what we call it when he sleeps, is honk shoe. Okay, that's very cool. That's also cool. Now let's two of hearts. This is fucking perfect. Two of hearts. Uh. Uh. <laughs> now this is gonna be the angel fight. Uh. Someone said, "I wonder if he's dreaming." Uh. It sometimes it really seems like he dreams. Like I said on stream the other day, it kind of sounded the other night like he maybe had a nightmare. Because he kind of let out a little, like, bark, basically. Like a big squeak. Uh, and then there's lots of other times... Oh, wow, yeah. Off yourself on the spikes, bro. That's cool. Uh, a lot of times when he is sleeping, I can see his little mouth moving. He might be dreaming about eating hay. <laughs> Which is very cute. Okay, here's the money shot. It's money. And I think... Uh, I don't really feel like fighting Gabriel. Are we doing that? Uh. <clears throat> like, I could. Let's not reroll this. Oh, fuck. Okay, fine. Now we'll reroll. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, everything else here gives me a benefit, even the evil up, technically. Uh, one second, I'm sorry, I gotta snort again. What if, like, while my mic was muted, you just saw Shu, like, sit bolt upright? Ah, uh, but is it really worth re-rolling this tiny thing? It's gonna re-roll into a secret room item, though, and I have 38 coins. Ah, we'll do it. I'll just use all the cards. Fuck it. Okay. D-Infinity is, of course, quite cool. I think we take D-Infinity over Mr. Me. And then just re-roll Mr. Me. That's pretty crazy. Like, Sackhead... I know Sackhead's also good, but... Nah. So now... I'll re-roll that. Oh... Oh. I see, I don't really want either of these. Straw Man's annoying, and... 
Mega Mush is just boring. It's just a dull item. It's just like, uh, yeah, you're gonna stomp on every, all the enemies and win. Congratulations. You know? If I get a little more health from this guy, I'll go fight the angel. Ooh, nice. We love to see the keys while we're Guppy's tail maxing. Oh, look. Look at him twitching. Look at his little whiskers twitching. Yeah, that's true. The restock machine is still there. So maybe I shouldn't dump all my coins into this guy. I feel like these guys pretty reliably pay out after, like... Usually, like, 20 cents, you know? Oh yeah, let's reroll this shit. No. Chaos. Uh, that's- see, that's another thing that takes up an item slot, but I think it's funny, and it could be worth it. Oh, I heard him move. He just sort of slumped a little bit. Uh, it's judgment question mark that makes the reroll machine, hun. Sorry, I'm not calling a chat member hun. That's, uh, that's, that's my boo. Let's, let's spawn Gabriel. Fuck it. I don't know why I'm getting the D6 ready. It's kind of nice to get, uh, the key pieces and even the knife, uh, in alt path with this character just because they are items that don't take up a slot, and that's cool. And extra angel chance is cool, even though, you know, we just got chaos. But here's the thing, you can drop chaos, you know? And, you know, maybe I shouldn't get this because I have, uh, Because, like, I could... Because I have the D6, and it's like I could spawn key pieces intentionally in later angel rooms, and then re-roll them into angel items, you know? But, I don't know. Uh... Whatever. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. And if I want to drop chaos before going into an angel room, I can just do it on, like, the boss pedestal. Okay, well... Hmm. I'll take the tears up. Ah, no, false PhD, though! Oh. No. The thing with false, false PhD on this character, again, is that, like... It's usually like, oh, false PhD, you know, you ruin some of your stats to make your damage really good, right? But... Usually you get other items to make up for that. You know? Whereas here, it's like, it's just gonna nuke a lot of my, uh... Stats. I'll take the tears for now. And, uh... Should I re-roll the matchbook, or is this just pointless at this point? Let's try one more. Okay, well, I guess I can use this on the battery. That's kind of neat. Uh... Oh. Oh, those are both really cool. Yeah, I think... I think Bone Spurs is getting ditched for Spirit of the Night. Seraphim's also great, and it's just a lot of things, a, a lot of, uh, items that, uh, are normally great. It's like, oh, Trisasian, are you kidding me? Yeah, I'll take that. I guess I'll take it over Guppy's tail. Now nah, let's take it over the stupid egg bombs. All right, I think this is cool. I can fly now. I'm a squid and a kid. And no, that wasn't a joke. 
That was just words coming out of my mouth that I did not regulate. Okay, I could buy that battery and keep re-rolling, but... I don't, don't even care really that much yet. All right. Cool. Lots of cool stuff in there. Excuse me? You guys really didn't die from that? Is that because Trisation is having a weird interaction with Polyphemus or what? I also wish I had Mr. Me because now there's a boss challenge room, but oh well. Glad I hung on to this uh, bandage because holy shit. It's, uh, it's cooking right now. I like that Bella is answering chinchilla care Q&A in the chat. <laughs> He's so cool. He's our special little guy. Man, I'm wondering if Trisasian plus, uh, Polyphemus is, like, a bad idea. Okay, that's a bad trip pill. I don't think it, really it shouldn't be identified, but whatever. Am I willing to burn two keys on that chest? Not quite yet. How, how do we feel, chat, about Trisasian? Are you guys still stuck on Shu? I feel like it's, uh... Bad? In this current scenario, I mean? Is there a damage down from Trisasian? I'm not sure I knew that was a thing, if that's a thing. I'm at 16 damage. Explosive diarrhea, whatever. Diarrhea. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, now I got... When did I get so many keys? I thought I had, like, two earlier. I had, like, three when I was considering spending two on that chest. Keep that. And this is a D20 for the whole floor. Oh, I still got the Larry Jr. top hat mod on. It's been a little while since I played on my PC. What a great game. I, I, yeah, it's, I can't even describe how many hours of enjoyment this game has given me, obviously. Uh, let's just put down Trisasian just as a little test here. Although, you know, that item's also a damage up. Let's just see. No, it doesn't seem like it affects my stats. Tear Blasts deal 33% of your damage, but can hit enemies multiple times. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think I'm actually gonna ditch Trisasian for now. And uh, maybe I'll change my mind before the end of the floor, but... That's just where I'm mentally at at the moment. Okay, well... That's kind of useless, frankly. It's like a Seraphim count. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's try rerolling this bad bitch. After I get a card, of course. <laughs> Obviously. Another bad trip. Oh, no. Stars, rather. Okay. No. No, we don't want those. Now we have more keys than we have bombs. The food actually is kind of cool. But, eh. I mean, my health is doing just fine. Okay.
Hey, we got more for that blood bank over there, too. Very cool. Shu, what do you think about this? Do you have any opinions on this, uh, situation? He thinks nothing. He's sawing logs as we speak. Uh. I've still got the dog tooth. Kind of insane that I've kept it this long. There it goes, a woo. I was kind of hoping that would just open the secret room. I guess the secret room is, like, at the left side here, if I had to guess. No. Uh, here? Weird. Okay. That's cool. I will... Uh... Should I maybe fight the boss first? Doesn't matter a huge amount. Let's do this first, while I have charge, and maybe we'll see an angel room or a devil room or whatever. If it's a devil room, I'll probably not get anything, but who knows? There could be an amazing angel item in that devil room. How about if it's an angel room, I ditch chaos on the boss item pedestal here, like I said earlier. So that we increase our chances of getting an angel item. And I couldn't do the re-rolling the key piece trick anyway. Ow. I love the bonk sound. I know it's so stupid, but... It makes me giggle, so it's fine. Oh, That's not bad at all. Alright. So... Okay. Revelation's good. I'll swap that out for Spirit of the Night. How about that? Because that's flight plus more. And then I... Oh, God. And then I could re-roll this, too. Let's do it. Let's do it. And... Ah. Grapefruit is filmed in front of a live shoe Dio audience. I'm not really feeling either of these. Oh, wait. No, I don't even need... Soul Hearts. <laughs> uh... Eucharist will keep the room open for another reroll, that's so true. God. Yeah, let's ditch the fucking dog tooth. I don't know why I've hung on to that for so long. That is a good point, though. Can re-roll more. Okay... Uh, those are both really cool and all, don't get me wrong. Snort time again. But... Uh... Do we really want them, like, that badly? I might even ditch Polyphemus at a certain point. Dunno, haven't made up my mind yet. Let's ditch the tail and get Jesus Juice, I guess. And theoretically, we could even reroll again. Essentially. Let's go do this. Bruh. Waste of half a red heart. Cringe. I could have starsed out, but that's... That's gay. Uh, and I guess we're just juicing. I'm probably thinking about... Ditching. Oh, cool Cursed Eye. Very cool. Thank you. Cool. I could pick up Cursed Eye and then put it down just to spite it. Uh, no, I'll pick this up and I'll do some more juicing. 
could have even left the soul on the uh, angel pedestal and then came back for it. Like, could have juiced all these soul hearts and black hearts, you know. And then done the boss challenge room, but this is fine. Good god. I'm getting real lucky. Oh my lordy. Okay. Don't think there's any more hearts on the floor. The thing about having a, a reroll ability as this character is that, like, it gives you brain rot because... Oh? Oh, ha oh, ha. Oh. Uh. See, I don't really know about either of those. Those are both great items normally, but... It's like... Taking the forget-me-now means I have to ditch the infinity which sucks and steam sale it's like I've got 74 coins you know which, speaking of which maybe I could well I could go pick up steam sale and buy this and then go put it back which is hilarious just get some health and I don't know I could pick up that battery. It's a bit of a waste. We got both the secret rooms. The normal secret room's in a weird spot this run. Uh, fuck it. I'm feeling real greedy. Let's go try again with this. Holy mantle. It's another good one. I'll swap it out for steam sale. It's a real good item. Don't get me wrong. Wish I had Birthright. That would make this all very nice. I might ditch, uh, Chaos. God. It's such a mindfuck playing this character, you know? Uh... I'm seriously considering getting rid of uh, Polyphemus, of all things. That's a bad trip, which of course would be a full heal. Uh, I guess I'll just go... No, because it doesn't... I don't think the full heal works if you have soul hearts. Oh, and I got rid of the bandage too, like a dumbass. Whatever. There's fucking Jesus juice just sitting here. Let's just see what this looks like. I like that. That's good, uh, that's good? My damage is not amazing, but I just feel like that's better than having... Polyphemus, you know? But the thing is... Polyphemus is a great item for this character because it gives you one stat really, really up. And that's really good with this character, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna stop umming and aahing and just go for it, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna re-roll some shit here too. Yeah, that's a troll bomb. Very cool. That is a weird trinket that turned into a red heart. That's a uh, good trinket. Frankly, uh. Yeah, I mean, it's just a huge range up. I'll take it. Over the coin thing. Like, we don't need the coin thing. Alright. I'm going. I'm leaving chaos. I'm doing it. I just gotta rip the band-aid off. You always want Birthright as this character. That's like one of the best Birthrights. Okay. Ow. But not ow. Because Mantle. Mantle's getting ditched in the future too. That's just the... That is the gospel truth. Oh, and I've got this fucking Volt thing. That's not worth keeping. It's a great item, but it's not worth keeping. Now that's a real item, right there. Old school shit. 
Okay, I could do all this again probably by the end of this floor. Oh god. Accidentally shot it diagonal. Kind of forgot you could do that. Wing. Okay, let's go re-roll this. Red key. I guess I could make a red room. Cool, I made a red room. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, friend of Hagrid. Shu, what are your thoughts? Do you have any? Even one. Just one thought. That's all I ask. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Yes! Yes! <laughs> the free eternal D6. Just gonna get re-rolled. <laughs> maybe I can. Well, I should use it on the curse room item, maybe, before I go re-roll, re-rolling it. Because like this curse room item is a low priority item that I don't mind getting deleted. The beam kills all. So yeah, I've been thinking about making a, a little mod of my own for Mosalina. Uh, that would just make... <clears throat> oh god. That would make everything, uh, all the sound effects, like, humorous. For instance, I want to make the delete sound effect metal pipe clang fall sound effect. We'll see if I actually get the, the the get up and go to go do that. I also, so the other day I was saying like, isn't there something else releasing soon that I'm like wicked excited for? And I finally remembered what it is. Heaven Studio is coming out. The new Rhythm Heaven remix creator. Oh my god. Yo. He stuck his big noggin right in the camera. That's so awesome. Okay, oh, we got a lot to think about here. But I think it's all getting re-rolled. Literally all of it. <clears throat> I'll pick up that full heal, I guess. And... This item's the next one on the way out. But we'll, we'll get there when we get there. He's at the gates. He's so beautiful. Ow. Range up, I love that. If I had found normal PhD as this guy, I would have taken it. But bad, false PhD, nah. Not feeling it. These are both whatever. Aquarius I normally like, I mean, again, clearly there are certain things I would do if I was not the guy with the limited inventory. Okay, I didn't even really, I think the mod would have told me what that would was going to do, but I just wanted to find out. He is so EP and so up close to the camera. Dear God, put on your 3D glasses now. Yeah, it's gonna be like, uh, Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Shu's gonna take a big drink of water and then he's gonna go, and he's gonna spit it out and it's, uh, the little particles are gonna fly toward the screen. You're gonna be like, whoa. This is Depths 1. I'll keep the reroll chance.
Okay, those are whatever. This is a lot of options. None of these are leaping out to me, although Soul Locket is actually really cool. Soul Locket's really good for this character in particular. So I might put down the Zappy item and then re-roll uh, Soul Locket, or re-roll that. I think that's where we're, that's where we're headed. Oh, very nice. I'll need to hurt myself in this room a few times. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's, and that's the money shot. I'll get rid of the holy mantle, I don't care. That's the money shot. That's the nut right there. Plus eight damage. Yep. And homing tears. That's what you're looking for. Here, fight me. Bonk. Okay, that's fine. I gotta... Oh. I gotta itch. Oh, look. <gasps> Hello, Shu. Hello. Hello, little baby. God. Should I risk moving the camera to, uh, to get a, a pure head-on reaction? Maybe not. Let's not bug him. Let's not bug him. He's cute enough as is. Uh... You know what? I don't- I don't need this Eucharist anymore. <laughs> I'll take the tears up, thank you very much. The two plus two soul hearts wouldn't actually count, by the way. To anybody who's curious. Alright. What is this, two hearts? So we've still got some soul hearts to pick up. I will definitely be doing some juicing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. I think, in the end, I think it was a wise decision to get rid of Polyphemus and pick up, uh, Sag. Instead, good old Sag. Because it's like, literally, when I get Sacred Heart, I just have no need for Angel Rooms anymore. It's like, that's basically the best outcome, that and Godhead. Which I haven't seen Godhead in so long because of uh, playing on Isabel's uh, Switch. That's a bad trip pill. I'll keep that for this. Good. I don't think uh, this bad trip might not actually see any use. Hello. <laughs> There's a bunch of money that I will probably not end up spending all of. I can donate it. Potentially. And this one would teleport me to the dark room. Which I don't really want, even though it would be kind of funny. Plus one range, that's so good. Alright, so what are the items we're working with here? That's Eternal D6. Stars. I'll, I'll hang on to the bad trip, I think, because this is a two of hearts. Uh, just whatever. Pop it. This is Aquarius. Homing Aquarius is pretty funny, honestly, but is it worth it? Probably not. Uh, basically, right now, we have... It's a one run, essentially. Especially, like, maybe as Soul Locket continues to give me more stuff, I can uh, shed some of these stat up items in the future. All right. Oh, God, he's so close. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. One second. <laughs> Just tip it a little bit. I'm trying to keep quiet-ish for him, too, but, like, he really doesn't seem... Oh. <laughs> he, 
He doesn't seem that bothered by noise. Oh, yeah? Yeah, buddy? Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. <laughs> He's thinking. <sighs> oh, sweet baby. Sweet little baby. God, the revelation beam is homing, too. Pondering. Does he have stairs? He kind of has stairs, yeah. He has little steps. But yeah, it's like, sometimes... Sometimes it's it's more... The thing that disturbs Shu, I think, is like sudden movements. When he sees a sudden movement, that's when he like freaks out a little bit sometimes and jumps. But, uh... Noises? He kind of... He's winning the IDGAF war. For sure. Because we'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, Shu, I gotta clean your cage, I'm gonna turn on the shop vac for a second. He does not give a fucking boot when we turn on the shop vac, which normally, that's such a famous, like, pet distressor, you know? Is he bothered by smells? I don't know. That's pretty hard to tell. Hey, neither of these are really igniting my loins with passion. Uh, look at that Kirby face. And we've got reroll here, there's a lot of potential. I don't know, none of these items are, like, worth actually taking. But I'll tell you what, I'll do my classic strat even though we are not pinched for money at all. Oh, he went back inside. Uh, we're gonna pick that up and we're gonna reroll it. We just bought it when it was, uh, cheaper. School bag. It's very cool. We would have to give up a slot for it, though. Jesus juice really isn't that much of a damage up, right? And let's donate. It's it's the right thing to do. Yeah, good job, guys. You scared him off. And I've got a bunch of soul hearts. I might try to do that boss challenge room. This floor. Just get rid of all my soul hearts and start working my way back up. Sure. If there's a sack room, I'll definitely do that. So I'm not going to pick up health right now. Just in case. The other day, by the way, Isabel can attest to this. I got a run with Brimstone and Spoonbender and Brainworm. And I know homing Brimstone is already really amazing. Oh, tears down, great. Homing Brimstone is already amazing, but having it with Brainworm, it's like bullshit. It's like I feel bad for the enemies. It's like, you know that one boss that has that kind of bullshit homing Brimstone attack? You get that when you have all those items. Yeah, maybe I should have not done that, but I wanted the fool's gold for some reason. Okay... There is not a sack room. Or really, any way of juicing. Which is a little sad. <laughs> look at him. Just look at him. So eepy. I like eepy. It hasn't become annoying yet. Maybe one day it will become annoying. Is this...? No. That would have solved all my problems right there. Uh, I've been re-watching The Venture Brothers, by the way, making Isabel watch it. What a show. What a fucking show. We're, we're just now at, uh... We just got to season four, I think. Uh... Which, season three is, like, right around where... That show really starts to hit its stride, in my opinion. So good and so rewatchable. Uh, it's it's just every time I rewatch that show, I go, oh my god, there's like foreshadowing for something that happened like three seasons later, you know, or he, there's that guy from like season one. Why the fuck is he here? I keep noticing the uh, the Tijuana doctor from the very first episode showing up. You know what, I've got this bad trip, pill. Fuck it, I'm just gonna go all the way down. 
I've got a Hierophant and a bad trip. <clears throat> Can we get a Brock impression? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, the plus one soul heart won't actually like do anything. Should I maybe pick up the, let's pick up the health and then re-roll it. Maybe, well, do I want to keep the re-roll going into the, look at this guy all scrunched up. Eh. Oh, and I wasted the fucking bad trip pill like a dumbass. Here, let's just fucking bonk into it. I don't even care. Fuck me up, Holmes. I don't need angel chance. I don't need anything. God. So satisfying. So cool. Oh, seeing a few people, uh... Saying that they they got into that show on my recommendation, that makes that makes me so happy. Because it's really one of those shows that, like... You almost need to, like, force yourself to get into it. Because the first couple of seasons are, like, fine. But they're not... They're not nearly as, like, exceptional as the later seasons get. Like, the later seasons are just like, wow. But it really is that good. It really is worth it. Um, I'll take the Jesus Juice over the health. And... I think I will just keep this re-roll. No, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know, just go, it doesn't matter. I always like, overthink when I'm like, it's, I've already won. Just go win. This is one boss where the swarming Trisagian doesn't really work. Alright, no angel, whatever. I'll take the damage. Negative's also a great one where it's just like, that's a solid damage up without taking up a slot. Uh, we're gonna go for uh, Mega Satan, is my plan. And I mean, I like the first two seasons of the Venture Brothers, but uh, the rest is just a cut above, and I and I can see why the first couple of seasons might be off-putting to some people. It's definitely got like the same identity throughout. It just like gets better. I'll use the keys here. That's a D4. Nope. D4 dark dreams don't die. I spent... I worked long and hard to get this build. I curated it myself. I'm not about to just throw it away. D4 is like one of the worst things you can do as this character because you're re-rolling your highly curated list of great items that you've been like... In Picking, cherry picking throughout the run and just turning them into like whatever random crap. Alright. Do I need this range thing anymore? Let's just take the cricket leg. We got plenty of range. I had a run the other day where it felt like my range kept getting lower and lower and lower over the course of the run. And I, I have no idea why. I, like, truly could not pin it down. I should have, like, saved the seed or, like, taken a picture of, like, all the items I had or something. Like, is there any item that, like, slowly decreases your range over time? Because it's truly what it felt like was happening. I ended up with two range. My range stat was two, which is, like, abysmal. My shots barely traveled at all. Or sorry, uh... The... No, just two, not point two. I don't think I had Libra. 
That's a good guess, though. Damn it. Whatever. <laughs> Almost worked. The one thing that I would just love to have on this run is uh, Birthright, but I, I don't think that's happening at this point. Come on, buddy. Oh my god, so many gift subs, thank you. It's cause shoe, right? You don't have to lie to me, it's cause of shoe. Uh, I'll take the, the silly rainbow tears. It looks really cool, right? No. Maybe that's just with brim. That was actually pretty significant damage down because of the, uh, eh, whatever. Because of Sacred Heart. It's not a huge difference. Because Sacred Heart has a damage multiplier. One of the many reasons that item is great. It's probably better than Godhead, honestly. What, what do we think? Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. What do we think? Is Godhead, uh, or, or Sacred Heart better? Look at him. Look. <laughs> One second. Try to set up the... the bottom layer roach cam. There we go. That should be... Yeah, Sacred Heart is just better. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, is he having a little meal? He's having a little meal. There he goes. This is usually what he does when he gets up from his sleep during the day. Has a little bite to eat, maybe a little drink of water, and then goes back to bed. <laughs> okay, what is this High Priestess? Fuck you. Wheel of Fortune? Fuck you. I don't want to take either of those. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the fruitcake is amazing. Somebody was saying Play-Doh cookie is the one that makes rainbow effects, and that is correct. He's just like me, for real. Okay, yeah, we could have got conjoined by now if I was conjoined maxing, but I am not. Oh! Yeah, that's good. I'll take that over... That, and then we'll re-roll it. How's that sound? Oh, you fucking slut. God, if, I mean, if we could get Godhead as well, that would be amazing. <laughs> uh, if he, so he's, he's on his little, like, shelf right now, but if he goes beneath that shelf, he's probably peeing. I've noticed that that's his little pee corner, where he goes to pee. Oh, come on. Move. There. So. Oh. And up he goes. <laughs> and right back into his house. Wow. Holy shit, dude. You good? Do you think he knows he's famous? <laughs> okay. Can you- here's somebody with a fantastic question. Can you get rid of Soul Locket and maintain the stats? I don't remember, so there are a bunch of items in the game that have the quality of the Soul Locket. To anybody who doesn't know, the Soul Locket, uh, makes it so when you pick up Soul Hearts, you get stat boosts. Uh, and there's a bunch of other items in the game. There's one called Candy Heart that functions on a similar way, Keeper's Sack, and stuff like that. Almost all of those items, they're, they're, I, I was looking this up recently because I'm writing a guide for this character, and I have a little section on items like that. And what I learned is I've never really paid super close attention. They all function on different rules. Some of them, if you put it down, you lose all the stats that you gained and you can never get them back. Some of them, you can put the item down and keep all the stats and be fine. Some of them, if you put the item down, you lose the stats, but then if you pick the item back up, you get the stats back. So, 
it's all over the place, and even in chat here, I'm hearing some uh, conflicting reports. Uh, so I'm not going to be putting it down because I just want to keep getting the benefit of it, regardless. Uh, man. All my items are great. I, I, I am really struggling to think of what one I want to get rid of. I guess the coat hanger. But even then, that tears up is great. You know what? I'm going to do something potentially kind of uh, based. I might have to... I, I think I hear the based alarm going off, actually. Can you guys hear that car alarm in the background? You might be able to only hear it when I'm talking because of the noise gate. There's a car alarm going off. Oh, and it stopped. I'm going to get rid of Revelation. Fuck Revelation. Oh wait, do I have Seraphim? Oh my god, I have Seraphim. Oh, then completely fuck Revelation. Yeah. Get it out of here. I don't care about that shit. Um, alright. <clears throat> We're going to keep the stairway for now, because I've got a bunch of money. And if I can get Godhead and Sacred Heart... It'll be very funny. Okay. Transformations do stay if you lose the component items. But you need... I think... I seem to remember... And I could be totally wrong on this. I seem to remember with, like, conjoined specifically or something... Needing... It's like you need to have all three for the transformation in your inventory at the same time. You can't just, like, get one, put it down, get one, put it down. But it changes, too. The rules for transformations are different depending on if it's an active item or a passive item. It's all very complicated. That's Star of Bethlehem. Fuck, man. I want to keep that. People keep saying get rid of the sin robes. No, get rid of, uh... I'll get rid of this. I'll get rid of this. Because it's like, I don't need tears at that point. Let's try, let's just see what happens to my stats when I put this down. Eh, no, you might be right. You might be right, chat. Oh my god, an evil eye showed up. That's so cool. <laughs> Alright, and I don't have a reroll, so I won't fuck around with that guy. And then, and then, yeah, it gets really complicated with shit like Guppy, because Guppy has items that count toward it. There are both... it has passives and actives that count toward it. I'm not even gonna pick up that Eternal Heart. I legit don't even want it. Because I just want to be able to pick up Soul Hearts. I was kind of hoping we'd see a Devil Room, but we are going down the dark path. So we will definitely see some Devil Deals. But that reminds me, I should have... I should research the way transformations work with this character and have a, like, in-depth section on it in my video. That's a good thing, because I, I don't have anything on that in the video right now, I just forgot. So that's... that's kind of why I'm doing this, to sort of jog my memory and, uh... See if there's other things important worth talking about. Star of Bethlehem, I have no idea where it is right now. See what Shu is doing right now, or his little whiskers? You can see his little whiskers twitching. I choose to believe that he is dreaming about eating food. That's my Shu headcanon. The one thing with Trisagian is, like, when there's a big room full of blocks like that, it can really get in, get in the way. Uh, I got hiccups. No. I guess it's five bombs. I'll take it. Are there any other items... Besides, are there any ones besides, like, the plot-relevant items that are excused from taking up item slots? Uh, Birthright. I think, as far as I can remember, is the only one that's like that. 
Birthright just simply does not take up a slot. Okay. <laughs> that was a uh, fruitcake moment. Wow. And you know what? That one coin, that's my tip for the level. Damocles? You mean, like, if you activate Damocles? I guess technically. Why has it been dubbed Shu? This chinchilla is named after a cat in Ace Attorney 2. Named Shu. I don't even want any of these. I'll get the Soul Heart. Meter would be cool. I mean, the Relic would also be cool, but... Is it worth taking up another slot? Not really. In Ace Attorney 2, there is, I guess, without wishing to spoil too much... There's a part where somebody gets held hostage, and the thing... You can, like, hear a cat in the background uh, of the, like, recording of them, you know, being held hostage. And then later on, you, like, find somebody's house and they have a cat. And you're like, oh my god, this is that cat. And the cat's name is Shu. And Isabelle and I decided then and there that if we got a pet, we were going to name it Shu. <laughs> then we got a pet and then we named it Shu. Simple as. Oh, that's a rare room, I'm pretty sure. That's really cool. Yeah, it's a good case. Hey, uh, you know, not for nothing, but Ace Attorney Apollo Trilogy is coming out very soon. Very exciting, and it's not too late to play the original trilogy, which, again, as a, a guy who has never really enjoyed visual novels or detective games, I fucking loved them. Loved that series to death. And yes, I know, I just took a health down. That's cool. Black Rune is actually kind of crazy as this guy. We'll probably end up using that on the first room of uh, Dark Room. I have heard of Lunacid, or Lunacid, or whatever the fuck. I said Lunacid, and then somebody was like, oh my god, he pronounced it like Lunacid. How embarrassing! And I was like, I'm sorry. Uh, it's like a Kingsfield love letter type of thing, to my knowledge, right? I, I'm not... I don't feel super inclined to play it, honestly, but it looks... neat. Damn it. <laughs> I fucked up. Blah. <laughs> yeah, Star of Bethlehem is the icing on the cake here. That's like, as this... Again, I keep saying as this character, as this character, but that is... With this guy, that's an instant take. Like, you gotta... Look, oh my god, he's, he flopped. He's sleeping. I'm in the middle of playing the original trilogy on your recommendation, though I'm stuck on the extra case in the first game. Are you by any chance talking about, oh look, the star changed its mind when the door unlocked? That's cool. That's a patch, by the way. It, it didn't used to do that. It didn't used to go into that room. False PhD again. It, are you on, by any chance, the dumb fucking vase rotation part? Because that part is fucking stupid. I don't really want those. I guess I'll pay this guy. Because we have a reroll. Ah. But there's also that case, Rise from the Ashes. God, it's so good. That whole game, it's got such a... The first Phoenix Wright game, if you're gonna play, even if nothing else, just play the first one, because, like, it's got such a beautiful, like, rising... Is that what they call it? Rising action? Where it just... The intensity just gets cranked up with each case, but not in a way that feels like dumbass, like, anime power scaling. It just feels like really well done escalating stakes that are satisfying and compelling. You know what, I'll take Fakred Heart, I think. I'll do that. Over the stairway, because the stairway's not going to do us any good anymore. And you know what, I'm, I said I was going to black rune on that other room, but I think I'll do it here. That's cool. Look at all those stat ups. God, that's beautiful. That's just a sight to behold.
Uh, that's not when I'm stuck, but that case, yes, yeah. The rest of that case, I mean, there's a bunch of difficult to intuit stuff in that case. There are definitely some moments in Ace Attorney where I had to, like, look shit up, because I was like, I don't know what specific- oh, What specific, like, thread of logic they're intending me to go down here. Not too often, though. There's a lot of very satisfying, aha moment sort of solutions in those games as well. And I'm so excited to play the Apollo games. Yeah, I might pick up Eden's Blessing just to bless my next run, right? Pick it up over the coat hanger. It's just a straight upgrade. It might even be a better Tears Up. Uh, is here? Let's pick up Eden's Blessing over this. And the rest of these items, I mean, one of them is literally poop. So, you know. Uh, sprinkler is kind of funny. Might swap that out at the end of all this. And the perfume actually breaks tear cap. It's one of those fucking random ass items that just for some reason breaks tear cap. Okay. Uh, look, I've got this, like, aura around my head. Is that from Seraphim? I feel like when I had that, like, really glitchy, tainted Lazarus experience, we saw this little aura with the little mini bubbles inside of it. Oh, he's dreaming. Look at him. Just look at him. Uh. <laughs> I love when that big ring, Fakred Heart, makes that gigantic ring around me. Great. Thanks, Jesus. You were a bit early. A bit too quick on the uptake there, bucko. That's gonna... Yep. That's some money. And, and a quarter. God damn. Guess I'll pick it off. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's go reroll. Oh, I got rid of the sprinkler shit. Whatever. Okay, I'll take the double shot. Thank you very much. Soy milk, I'm not interested in. Uh. Honestly, I know th I like the fruitcake a lot, but I just don't- oh, 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 he's gone. You know what, I mean, he's just sitting on his little- I'm not gonna cameraman for you guys, sorry, Shu is out of the house. If he does something cute, I'll show you, but he's just having a- yeah, he's having a little bite to eat. He's having his little meal. He loves to have his little meal. Not every day you see this room. I could have had conjoined so many times over by now. <laughs> Stinky. Alright, let's go annihilate the lamb. Yep. Easy peasy. Uh, no. And I think I'm just going to do one run today, guys, so... Sorry if you were expecting a little more. Oh, Yeah, he's just eating. You're not missing too much. Alright.
death. I mean, I think it's it's time to get one more charge and then just go fight Mega Satan. Uh huh. I'll pick that up for the soul hearts. A lot of doing well with this character is also, uh... ...using items for their temporary benefits. Yeah. Oh, D100, baby. Fuck that. God, I could still- You know what? I- Could I get conjoined right now? No, cause little Loki disappeared. Yeah, whatever. Let's just go, uh... <clears throat> I'll take the D100 in there. Fuck it. Shu is gone. Shu's reaction to this information is nothing. His reaction is, I'm out. I'm eating right now. <laughs> ba 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 ba. Alright, how about this? I'll spice it up a little bit. When he gets to his skeleton phase, I'll use the D100. And we'll try to make it work, whatever I get. Even if, I mean, it's probably gonna be dog shit. But we'll try to make it work. Because this is just too boring. Alright, you ready? Seraphim, oh! <laughs> Look at that! That is just pathetic. Holy fuck. Death card saved me. <laughs> <laughs> this is my second phase, bitch. It's terrible. <laughs> Please. Please. Just go hit him with bombs. Just hit him with bombs. <laughs> I think we can still get it. I, I trust in my Isaac skills to do well enough here. Maybe not, though. I don't know. Let's just play it real careful, real safe. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's cracked. What did so much damage to him? I feel like he just took a fuck ton of damage out of nowhere. Uh -huh. There's his higgledy-piggledy tears. His classic famous move. Oh. Die, bitch. You got your second phase? Well, I've got my second phase. Where I get much, much weaker. Oh, and look, he's back. He's back! There's his reaction. We finally captured it on film. Wow. Alright, cool. Cool run. No delirium. That was fun. And, uh, you know, I think I did, uh... Remind myself of a couple things I need to write into that script. Uh, yeah, no void, thank God, somebody said. <sighs> All right, uh, well, I hope you guys got a kick out of the, the gimmick shoe cam stream. Uh, what if I try it? I might bug him just a tiny bit here. Hey, shoe. Hey, buddy. Hey. Nah, he's too weepy. He just had a nice little meal, and now he's dreaming about having more meals. <laughs> I gotta refill his water. I'm probably, I mean, after this, after I go offline, I'm probably gonna go, uh, clean his cage. Because it's pretty stinky. It's not actually stinky, it's just, you know, got poop in it. <laughs> Look at him cleaning. Are you clean? Are you all clean, buddy? Huh? Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's a good scratch. That's a good scratch. Come on, Shu. Come on. Come on. Come, let me give you, let me give you pets. <laughs> let me give you pets. <laughs> nah. Here, uh, well... Hey, hey, dude. Hey, dude. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hello. Yes, you're famous. This is your famous cool camera. Okay, and he... I opened the cage and he was like, freedom? 
<laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Hey, buddy. Hey, little buddy. How you doing? <laughs> snoof. 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 <laughs> and back up he goes. Wow. He's such a beautiful beast. <laughs> oh, buddy. Hi, buddy. Yes, hello. No, you cannot eat the camera. So sorry. It is not food. He's so cool. Somebody said he's too swag. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I got to cut myself off. Uh, Shoe's got to get a little bit more nap time in before he starts fucking bouncing. Oh, there's his little balls. You can see his little balls. Ah! <laughs> you can see his little balls. Uh, he's gonna, he's gotta rest up so he can keep us up at night by bouncing around his cage like crazy. Uh, is anybody, is anybody streaming, I wonder? Vine Sauce got banned, by the way, off of Twitch, or he got temporarily banned, which is, uh, banned over something kind of hilarious and stupid, which is very funny. Whoa, my throat just made that sound. <laughs> uh, oh, Mike. Yeah, let's just go raid Mike. What is he doing? Just chatting? Probably you so laugh, you I'm lose, or some shit? For immortalizing it with this actually really cool he's like looking at art, uh, but he's only been streaming for an hour? There is a shit stain. Huh. There is a shit stain. Let's go. We'll go raid Mike. And, uh... You all will enjoy. Jabrani. Mike. Well, I hope you guys had a lovely time looking at this little gentleman, I know there was, it was like, all the attention is on Shu. Whereas, the, the, the Binding of Isaac gameplay, who gives a shit, right? We've all seen hours and hours of Isaac. Uh, but, I hope you guys got a kick out of it. This, I, I don't think this will be a super recurring thing. I just felt like doing the Shu cam for at least one stream. Uh, because he is so darn cute. And he needs to be, he needs to be viewed by all the eyes of the world. <laughs> So, uh, all right, let's go raid Mike. Uh, I love you all. Have a wonderful day.